Imagine working a nine to five to owning a home care business that earns six figures per month. I'm Michelle Williams and many of you know me as Coach Michelle and I've helped hundreds of people start their home care business and earn six to seven figures. And many of my clients started just like this. They began by leveraging their nine to five income to fund their dream business. We're gonna talk about the steps that they took to get there and the mistakes that almost crushed them so that you can steal their strategies and apply them to your business. Step number one, market research. They started by understanding the demand for home care services in their area and then studying local demographics and identifying gaps in existing services. Ask yourself a question. What does my community really need? What is something we don't have? Step number two, most of the states require certification and or licenses before you can start your home care business. But some don't, and those are called non-regulated states. So check your state before you do anything else because the key to success is staying compliant. Step number three, Porter Gale once said, your network is your net worth. That's true, especially in this industry, Reach out to healthcare professionals and community organizations. Establish partnerships that will help you grow your business. Remember, this is networking. Networking is crucial in gaining referrals. This is a people business, meaning you need to get out there and meet the people. I don't know if you guys noticed, but some of my clients began offering services part-time, then gradually building their reputation and client list while still working their nine to five job. You don't want to quit your nine to five and not be sure of what you do next. That's literally setting yourself up for failure. So set yourself up for success. And when you're ready and the time is right, then you can quit your job and operate your business full time. Step number five. One of the first questions you should ask yourself when you're starting a business is, do I have money to invest? Nothing's free anymore, guys. So you must have money to invest in your business because this is something that you want to invest your time in. Of course, you need to invest some money as well. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when you are going to set up your business, if you're in a regulated state, marketing material, website, you know, being able to go out and do networking events and so many other things. You need to have money. A lot of times I hear people saying, oh no, you can start this business with no money. That is not true, guys. When people are telling you that, they probably don't have the experience and or maybe they are familiar with some grants and they know how to get you some grants. I really don't know, so I'm making that up as I say it. Because based on my experience and helping so many people around the globe, I know that you need money to truly grow your business, right? For example, when I got started back in 2013, I didn't have a lot of money. I literally was living paycheck to paycheck. And I borrowed $700, which my dad didn't accept the check. Well, he did accept the check, but he threw it away to help me get insurance. So there's so many things that you have to think about, guys, in order to start and grow your business. You need to set it up with the local municipality, the federal government, the state, if it's regulated, equipment for your office, an office. Some states require you to have an office. The different types of insurances. I think there's like four different types of insurances that you need. So it's really important, guys, to Think about what that financial commitment is before you get started. Because so many times I see people, you know, get started or say, I used to do this or I wanted to do it, but I didn't have success. Why didn't they have success? Most of the time it's because they did not have money to invest in marketing, lead generation, professional website, and things like that. So guys, set yourself up for success and think about what do you have? Do I have good credit? Can I get credit cards? Do I have a home with equity? Can I get a home equity loan? Do I have friends or family members that will invest in me? What options do I have? Are there any grants available? Are there any benefits that I may not be aware of based on my status? Meaning like military, are there any loans or funds available for you know veterans starting a business? Just really do your due diligence to find out what it is that's available if you have funds and if you don't have funds because then that way you're able to leverage it, okay? So don't get started if you're not ready. Let me share this. Not everyone 
even if they have money, will be successful in this business. There are many individuals that are excited in the beginning and then that excitement dwindles. It just fades. And the reason why it fades is because they went into it with the wrong intention. And this is just based on my experience. What I have found is that when people are just about the money and they're not driven because of passion or because of a story or because of their why in this particular industry i'm not saying across the board because if you open a laundromat you're probably not going to be excited about people coming in there to wash their clothes so i'm not saying it's a prerequisite by any means to be a successful entrepreneur what i am saying is based on my experience in the home care space is that when people come in it and they're like i just want to make a whole lot of money i heard this and i heard people making millions of dollars and that's all i'm about they tend to not do the work. So the reason why they're not successful, because again, not everyone is, is because of laziness, laziness. Meaning they came into it thinking this is a get rich fast scheme or let me get in here and flip this money real quick. Guys, this business is not easy. I'm not gonna pretend that it is. So you got to have something, like people say, your why make you cry? You gotta have something that's going to keep you motivated, focused, committed, have that linear focus where you're looking ahead and regardless of what bumps in the road that may appear, you're able to jump over them, go around them, beat them down, do whatever you need to do to remove those roadblocks from in front of you. So I would say laziness is the number one reason why people don't have success in this business. So if you're ready to do the work, then this is for you. If you have the money to invest in your business so it can grow and flourish, guess what? This is for you. If you're looking for a get rich scheme, guess what? This is not for you. And I'm definitely not the coach for you. Lastly, guys, I'll say not doing your due diligence when starting a business or anything in life is the number one way to kill it from the very beginning. You don't go to war without training. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. You know, that's what everybody say. <laughs> so if you are not subscribed, guys, and you're not getting these home care tips weekly when I drop videos, why not? It's simple. It's a simple recipe. So click the link, subscribe, turn on your notifications, click the link to the website. We have a free training, the prelude. Go to homecarecoaching.com, go to services, and click on prelude. So you can get your knowledge and do your due diligence and learn about the industry before you get started. So click the bell, turn on the notifications, subscribe so you can be notified every week when I drop some gems. Take care guys, God bless.